A lot of developments in the race for the White House this week. Democrats, of course, have formally nominated Kamala Harris and Tim Walls as their candidates for president and vice president. Joining me now, Face the Nation moderator Margaret Brennan. Margaret, it was quite a week. A lot of talk about how to keep up the momentum. So what comes next as the campaign enters the fall? Well, we've already seen this Friday RFK Jr. say he's suspending his campaign, but he will remain on the ballot in a few states. That's perhaps a complicating factor, but he's endorsing Donald Trump. So you've seen one candidate step away, and the two major parties are really going to have to turn the showmanship of their conventions into messages that actually mean something uh, to people on the campaign trail. For Vice President Kamala Harris, a historic nomination, a convention on this theme of joy, well, what does it actually mean in terms of policy? We will be learning in the next 70 days or so how she's going to redefine the Democratic ticket. It has new enthusiasm behind it. But September 10th is probably the next date on the calendar where, where we will hear from her in a very um, interesting dynamic as she goes head to head with Donald Trump for the first time on the debate stage. That's going to be when everyone comes back from Labor Day break and starts tuning into this race in a real way, perhaps a crystallizing moment of, of what her campaign will look like. And for Donald Trump, he is recalibrating. And we'll have to hear from him how he intends to close what is a, a very narrow race here. And in these battleground states, it's, it's going to be a really tight one. Yeah, and you mentioned policy. Uh, a lot of questions on both candidates' policies right now going forward. So it certainly will be enlightening to shore some of that up. Um, also talking COVID still again. Uh, Dr. Scott jo Gottlieb yes. joining you Sunday. Uh, COVID cases up and more. What can we expect there? Well, I don't know if you escaped COVID, but I, I recently had it, and this variant is nothing to shrug off. Uh, it can really knock you down. So we're going to talk to Dr. Gottlieb about it. Also, the variants that are swirling and the variant you can now get inoculated against. There's a booster shot that was just approved this past week. We'll talk to him about uh, the timing of when you should get it, what to expect going into this back to school season and back to office season for many Americans, along with some of the other uh, health concerns at the forefront right now. I'm sure you've seen the reports about monkeypox being uh, a real issue of concern on a global scale. We'll talk to him about what you need to know. So a lot on the, on the health front and the practical living front, in addition to the politics, we'll, we'll tackle it all on Sunday. A lot going on. Yeah, and MPOX has been a big deal here in the Bay Area and San Francisco as well. So we'll be tuning in. Face the Nation mm -hmm. Sunday morning on KPIX. Thanks, Margaret. To view more content like this, we've selected some videos we think you'll enjoy. And please make sure to like and click the link in the bottom left corner to subscribe.